Of course, I have on another festive outfit. I mean, howdy, howdy. And then you're probably like, Kelly, the gingerbread earrings with the cowboy boot, like this does not fit, but it's the theme of the video, okay? I had a dress on theme, okay? It's chaos, it's giving, it's giving Christmas. Hi everyone, I am so happy you're here and I am very excited about today's video, I'm not going to lie. So this was a very last minute idea. Um, For me, normally I'll plan out videos and stuff like, I don't know, maybe like a month in advance or something or a few weeks, Um, but this I just had the idea for because I was browsing one of my favorite apps, um, Scribd which is an audiobook app. Um, they have ebooks and magazines and stuff on there as well, but I use it for audiobooks. You do pay for it. I think it's like $10 or something a month. They've upped their prices, um, but they do have a really great selection of audiobooks on there. I think they have a good mix of like indie authors and like traditionally published authors. So that's why I keep my subscription. And if you don't know, I am a massive audiobook person. They are the reason why I read so much. So it's worth it for me to have a subscription um, to Scribd. Um, this video is not sponsored by Scribd, but you know, if they want to call me, I'm here. I have been in my cowboy romance era for a while. I really think once I started Flawless and like Heartless by Elsie Silver, I was like, I need more cowboy books. And then if you know the whole thing about the Pam Godwin series, I just, I have been in a cowboy mood for like well over like what like two months now or something like it's crazy um and I didn't you know want to leave it so I was browsing Scribd and I was like saving audiobooks under like westerns and I found these Christmas books and <laughs> and I was looking at the titles and they were short audiobooks and I was like I must read those and I must report back and thus the idea for this cowboy Christmas romance vlog um, was born. In this vlog, you will see me read five different cowboy Christmas romances. Four are by the same author. Um, they are technically part of a series I learned, but I read them all out of order and I was completely fine. So like, don't worry about that. Um, and then one is another author who is new to me. Um, and that book is on Kindle Unlimited, which is great. It's a novella. So the TBR for this vlog is as follows. The four books that um, are by the same author, that author is Jessica Clare. And it's actually very funny because I have, like I own a physical copy of one of her books. She wrote like a book what it's called um go hex yourself which is like a traditionally published i believe like more like witchy book that you know i put on my fall tbr but didn't read so i'm so sorry jessica but i did read your cowboy books um so she has a whole bunch of like cowboy books too i was like wow we love a queen with range um so the books that i read by her that you will see me talk about more in this vlog is first all i want for christmas is a cowboy I'm gonna try to say these titles with a straight face, but like understand I'm I'm so obsessed with them. And that's what drew me in. It was the titles. I saw All I Want for Christmas is a Cowboy and I was like, all I want for Christmas is a cowboy. So like, sign me the fuck up. Okay, then we have A Cowboy Under the Mistletoe. Um, then Her Christmas Cowboy. Um, and then Holly Jolly Cowboy. The one um, Kindle Unlimited novella is 25 Reasons to Hate Christmas and Cowboys by L. Thorpe. At the time of filming this intro, I have already read all five books. Um, and not to spoil it, but I had a great time. But let me just wrap this up and get right on into the vlog portion of this video. And yeah, I will see you guys in a second. I am not prepared. I am not prepared at all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so today is November 30th. It is the last day of November and I finished my first Christmas cowboy book. Yay. Uh, so the one that I decided to listen to today is Holly Jolly Cowboy. The titles of these are sending me by Jessica Clare. Now this was um, just, can you see? Can you see, is it gonna focus? Ooh, so I listened to it on Scribd. It was a very short audiobook. It literally came out to like just under three hours, which is perfect. This book follows Holly. Her name is literally Holly. 
and Adam. So Adam is like the grumpy cowboy and Holly is like the sunshine. She wants to be a baker. She's an aspiring baker. This book right off the bat was very Hallmark. It was very Hallmark in a book, but there was spice. I was I wasn't sure going into these books cuz I've never read anything by this author before if there was going to be spice. I was like is it going to be like closed door? Is it going to be like very simple spice? There were some there was like I don't know, two or three ish maybe um spicy scene, so I was pleasantly surprised with the spice. I mean, also for a shorter book, um you know, it's not like it's it's not smut. So I was really pleasantly surprised with the spice. But I mean, overall, I think this book was cute. So like I said, it follows Holly and Adam, you're only in Holly's perspective the entire time. He's the grumpy cowboy, she has to work on like the ranch that he works on as like a chef for them. I think so. What does it say? When Holly's offered a job at a ranch to clean and cook for the cowboys that work there. Yep. Um, yeah, so they're, they, it's like a true enemies to lover situation also, like they just don't vibe right off the bat, because again, he's like really grumpy, and there's like a joke about him not being a good tipper. Um, so yeah, so when the rest of the ranch hands go out of town for the holidays, Holly and Adam will be forced to work closely together. Yeah, so it's that kind of situation. Again, very hallmark, very sweet, and very cute, but also, I will say, I feel like overall this book is deserving of a four star. It is definitely not the worst Christmas book that I've ever read. But I will say this is maybe the first time in like grumpy sunshine reading history of like reading this trope where I was really mad at the guy. I will not spoil it um, in case you're interested in reading it. But there is something that he does like the thing that he does that causes like conflict later on like down the road. I was like that is so mean like I know your enemies and you don't like her but that is so mean like I and I and that never happens normally I'm like the grumpier the meaner the better I did think he groveled really well and it made up for it like I truly thought the ending was super cute but overall I think this is a really great start to my cowboy binge and I'm really excited to read the other books that I have on the TBR um by this author because again I liked the amount of spice to the plot again it was very short it was nice and fast paced it literally was like instead of me watching a hallmark movie I was listening to one and I got some spice in there so I'm pleased I am very pleased I am very excited I will say as far as like the cowboy vibes there was like a mention of a horse like there's a mention of the ranch I think when they're first introduced he's like wearing a cowboy hat but it wasn't as strong as I wanted it wasn't as strong cowboy vibes as I would have liked like I don't think they rode like a horse together like it just it wasn't giving me fully cowboy in that sense. I did definitely get more small town. So I'm hoping the other ones my phone went off. But I'm hoping the other ones give me more cowboy vibes. That's what we're hoping. I have no idea which books I'm going to read next. Um, but I will update you, you know, when I'm into the next books. I'm hoping tomorrow because these audiobooks are short, and I'm gonna have a nice quiet day working in the office. My goal is to knock out two of these audiobooks. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I did it. I set you guys up in a in an okay way, I think. Okay. Hello everyone. It's the next day, and I did in fact finish another Cowboy Christmas audiobook. So the one that I finished, still by Jessica Clare, this one was called, I believe it was called A Cowboy Under the Mistletoe. That's what it was called, right? Oh my god. Yes. A Cowboy Under the Mistletoe. I, I can't tell if I like this one more than A Holly Jolly Cowboy. I'm telling you the titles of these are like, they, they send me every single time. I think I liked this one more just because this one was like so sticky sweet and cute but again you still get that spice in there towards the end and I just found the plot of this one to be a little bit more interesting than last one than the last one so in this one we're following our um guy Jason who is he was in the navy and I feel like this trope happens a lot in small town romance like someone was in the military and then they have like PTSD um so he is dealing with his PTSD and he also 
goes to like get this job at a ranch like as a ranch hand and stuff even though he has no experience with it I don't know how he ended up on this ranch I really can't remember but basically he gets the job and then he runs into what is her name no I just read this I should know I should know what her name is her name was Sage that literally took me 25 million hours and Sage like works in a library but she's trying to find a new mayor i don't this setup in this book i was like did i really pay attention to the setup maybe i didn't because i'm not setting this up well um but um the reason they end up meeting and then she agrees to help um jason like with his skills like being a ranch hand like things with horses and like animals and like all of that she basically like teaches him how to be like a cowboy um and it was really cute and then he agrees to fake date her because her like best guy friend is getting married but the thing is her best guy friend is like really annoying he's like an adult child and he's kind of like the villain not really like he's not really like a villain he's just like really annoying and like he definitely takes advantage of our girl sage and she just feels like really loyal to him and she's like oh but that's my good friend and she like basically like mothers him and stuff and you're like why is he getting married and so she he agrees um our man jason to be her date to his engagement party so that is what's happening so we get some great tropes in here we get you know fake dating which i love um he's definitely our main guy jason is definitely like very grumpy and more reserved which i like this one also has a lot of animals in it there's a service dog like there's dogs in it the other one had dogs in it so now i'm curious if there's gonna be a dog character in every book i just thought this was really cute i feel like some people if they read it would be like oh i thought the heroine was like too naive and just like too nice like she's very like hallmark like very sweet and proper like she's not annoying she's just like very naive but i just thought it was kind of charming like i don't know just something about it i thought was really cute and fun i mean for a two and a half hour audiobook I was really into it and again I thought I feel like I was more into this plot and this story more than the first one which is why I'm like do I give a holly jolly cowboy 3.5 stars like I feel like it's what holly jolly cowboy deserves because again I was really mad at that one guy in it but like this one I was never really mad at the main guy like obviously you know they have like a third act conflict that is like very minuscule but like overall I just thought this was super cute yeah, I think it's a solid four star book again like I feel like some people would read it and be like it's really cheesy but like if it but if you're in the mood for something like really cute and you like those tropes I would pick it up I really thought it was a delight on the cowboy scale this one definitely had more cowboy vibes than the other one so I really appreciate it that I appreciated the talk of the horse and the cows and like they were on horses for like a second so you know what I, I appreciate the cowboy vibes so I think I have two more left in this Jessica Clare series and then on my kindle tonight it's a novella so I'm really hoping that I can finish it in one sitting I think I want to read the Ella Thorpe um cowboy Christmas book that I found which I can't find on my kindle where did it go oh because it's under the author thing um 25 reasons to hate christmas and cowboys is um one of ella thorpe's cowboy novellas this is a christmas one so i hear that she writes like really spicy books so i'm really hoping this is a spicy cowboy time and again i want cowboys and i'm not gonna lie to you anytime i hear of like a cowboy romance especially if you're gonna if you're a spicy author and you're gonna market it as like a spicy cowboy romance I want them doing it in a barn. I want him tying her up with rope. I want there to be horses and all that good stuff. Obviously, I will give you more updates when I have more Cowboy Christmas updates for you. Woo! Oh, hello, everyone. It is the last vlog clip. It is, is it two days later from when I last updated you? Yeah, I did a really bad job of, um, trying to vlog these last three books that I read. So I'm literally going to talk about the final three books um, in this vlog right now. Um, let's talk about another Jessica Clare one. So I finished um, Her Christmas Cowboy, it's called. Yeah, 
Her Christmas Cowboy, it's getting four stars. I really like this one. And it's interesting, obviously, the more you read from an author, especially in a series, you know, you really see like what you like. And it's it's fun to like see which ones are your favorites. Her Christmas Cowboy, I think needs to get four stars because I really liked this one. Very similar to, I believe it's Cowboy Under the Mistletoe. Yeah, this one was very sweet and cute. It has like the main girl is like a school teacher and like she's going through a divorce like she has a crazy ex and our cowboy guy who's like very grumpy and very quiet like to the point where like people in town are like I don't know they think of him as like an outcast or something I think because he is like so grumpy. He's been like secretly like in love with her I guess like I don't know if it's like true insta love but I guess it like kind of is like I don't know like he's very you know into her and she's the school teacher and again she's very like innocent and nice and this book was just so freaking cute like yeah it was cheesy it was very cheesy he like is her secret Santa and like he gets her like little gifts but like really thoughtful gifts and she's like oh my god who are these gifts from and actually this book has a tie back to Cowboy Under the Mistletoe. So I don't think I said, or maybe I did, that this is technically, these cowboy books are part of a series. I do think you're totally fine reading them in no particular order. Um, I'm literally the first book in the series I read last. Um, but this one I noticed had characters from A Cowboy Under the Mistletoe in it, especially like the really annoying guy from A Cowboy Under the Mistletoe is also in this book. And he's still really annoying. And of course, that little bit of spice is there. I just found it to be really sweet. I think if you just want something like sticky sweet and very cheesy, very Hallmark, again, like I feel like I'm going to say all of these books are like very Hallmark lifetime, but they really are. Um, I don't know. I would go for a Her Christmas Cowboy. I'm getting the titles all mixed up because all of the titles sound the same. I don't know. I feel like Her Christmas Cowboy is my favorite in the series next to A Cowboy Under the Mistletoe. I just thought both of them were absolutely precious and they're really well done audiobooks even though there is just one single female narrator the entire time. I had a good time. I just thought it was precious. I would reread it. Like I, I would. I would absolutely reread it anytime I just want a cute you know, cowboy romance. Then should we finally talk about one that isn't a Jessica Clare book? Um, I did finish um, 25 Reasons to Hate Christmas and Cowboys, I think is the name, by, um, what is it, L. Thorpe? Yeah. Um, this book is included on Kindle Unlimited, so that's fine. This is a novella. It's like 170 pages, and let me tell you something. This I gave 4.5 stars. I'm gonna say it. I think it ate. But you do need to understand this book is like aggressively cheesy. It does have the most spice. All it does have the most spice also, a hundred percent out of all the books I read. There is great spice in here. This book isn't really what I was expecting because I know I haven't read anything by this author before but I know because she's on Kindle Unlimited and like some of her other books that I've seen they are I think just like really spicy like good time. She has this book is technically part of her it's called the Dirty Sexy Cowboy series and I think one of them is like a cowboy wide shoes and like that's so hot but this one so I was so I was kind of expecting something like really really steamy um but this one just definitely leaned towards the more sweet cheesy with some great spice in there but the main girl in this one is named Isabel yes that's her name and then Johnny is the cowboy so Isabel is actually from Australia and she does something oh she does window displays for a store um and so she just ha ends up in this small town somewhere what is it Wyoming Ohio I don't, Montana, it's not Montana. I don't know. It doesn't matter what state it's in. So whatever, she's in this small town for Christmas and she is very like anti-Christmas. It's definitely, it's a reverse grumpy sunshine where she is the grumpy one and the guy is the sunshine. And let me tell you, Johnny is true golden retriever sunshine. Um, So he meets her and it is insta love for him. He sees her in the store and he's like, this is the most beautiful girl. I 
you know, I have to get to know her. Um, like he jokes that it's like love at first sight, but like it is like quite serious. Like he really is like very <laughs> attracted to her right away. Um, but I just thought it was so cute and charming. So she explains to him, you know, the 20 she I she's been alive for 25 years, and every Christmas, I guess something has gone wrong. So she writes it all out in a list. Johnny gets the list and he's on a mission by the time that she leaves to go back to Australia to make her like Christmas. That's the general premise of the book. And you're probably like, wow, that sounds really cheesy. And you would be correct. It was very cheesy. But let me tell you, especially the first like 30%, 40% of this book, I could not stop smiling. Like I was laughing. I was beaming because I thought it was just so over the top and so cute. Like the way Johnny really just wanted Isabel to have a nice Christmas and the things that he did for her were so sweet. I was like a man in real life would never. I just had a really great time with it and I think especially because it's a short novella on Kindle Unlimited there is a chance you'll have a good time with it too as long as you go in with the expectations that it's just a cheesy fun Christmas time and the spice was very very good. It was very good and the cowboy vibes were there 100% like he had the town like he, his family like had a ranch and there was stuff with horses for a second, which you know I love. And I just, I thought it was really charming. Like it is an absolute delight of a novella and I totally recommend it. I think out of all of the books here, this is also the one that I rated the highest at 4.5 stars. Uh, and I stand by that. I think it's a really great time. And then finally, All I Want for Christmas is a Cowboy. It's technically the first book in this Jessica Clare series, or maybe the first Christmas one. I don't know. Actually, I think it is the first book. Um, this one, I'm giving 3.5 stars. Um, not for the same reasons as Holly Jolly Cowboy, the first one I read, which, you know, I didn't really like the main guy in that one. And this is getting 3.5 stars is just because I didn't care as much about the couple as I did in a few of her other books. So the setup for this one should have made it like an absolute success for me because it is a forced proximity situation where our girl Cass is her name and I can't remember the main guy's name for my life. I'm so sorry. Um, So Cass literally gets in a car accident on her way to this ranch in a snowstorm. Um, She like hits a tree snowed in and our main guy sees the car and is like oh what the hell is this um he's literally trying to like bring his cows back in in a snowstorm so again the cowboy vibes in this one were actually my phone went off the cowboy vibes in this one were actually probably the strongest in uh, like out of all of the books he worked on a ranch he was a ranch hand no one else was home like on this ranch that he works on and he does stuff you know with the horses the cows the chickens oh and of course there's a whole bunch of dogs in this one as well every jessica claire book has the dogs in it this one is no exception where the dogs are pro are prominent characters so anyway you know he saves her from the storm she's like really beat up like a big gash on her head like her face is bruised and you know he carries her in takes care of her, calls the, the, the doctor is like, well, you just gotta keep an eye on her. She may be concussed. I can't come see her in the snow. So you just gotta take care of her. And she wakes up the next day and she does have slight memory loss. It's not full amnesia. She does remember her name and slowly as the story goes on, she does understand her memories. But again, you do get that forced proximity because of the big snowstorm. She's staying with him and obviously she's trying to figure out why she's in this place in the first place. Like she's trying to figure out why she wanted to go to this ranch anyway, because she's from California. I think, I think that's what it is. It was sweet. It was cute. It just isn't as memorable for me as the other ones, which is why I'm going to keep it at a 3.5 star. But it was like very cute. And if you like those tropes, I would totally check this book out. But you know, as someone who binge read like the entire um, Christmas cowboy books in this little series, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, but it was good. That's all I have to say about those books. Um, Overall, I had a really fun time with this little Christmas cowboy binge. Um, and again, I have some books that I would totally reread and books that I absolutely, you know, would recommend to you guys. And hopefully you find them 
interesting and you know you look into them let's go back to intro kelly for a for an outro clip shall we <laughs> all right we did it that was my christmas cowboy <laughs> romance vlog for all updates on books that i'm reading and like in the moment thoughts you can follow me on instagram goodreads tiktok if you aren't yet um i hope you had a good time with this video and maybe you got a new book rec out of it i know i had a lot of fun and i do have some more christmas books on my tbr um, that I will be reading and updating you guys on again best place for those is definitely like Instagram and TikTok. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe if you haven't um, Yet and I will see you guys in my next video um, very soon. Bye